Now, we are turning our attention to Cybos Stars. They're part of the Cybos Talent Accelerator route known as the STAR program. This is a scholarship designed to empower professional women to become the leaders of tomorrow by accelerating their knowledge, skills, and self-confidence. And we are delighted to be joined by two current STAR scholars, Susanna Martinez, Vice President, Treasury Sales Client Officer, Global Corporate and Investment Banking at Bank of America, and Grace Terelho, Director, Sales and Relationship Manager, Financial Intermediaries, Americas at BNP Paribas. Welcome to you both to Cybos TV. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Thank you so much. We hope you're enjoying your first day. You're not too tired at the end of what's probably been a manic few hours as we kick things off in Toronto. Uh, I'm going to start with Susanna first. It's of course at the end of day one. What's made the biggest impact on your day so far across the themes and industry thought leadership here? Sure. So it's my first time at Cybo, so I think the energy that I have received has been amazing. Um, one of the things that uh, it's my key takeaway is watching our CEO Brian Monahan doing the opening plenary, and he did mention something in regards to collaborating together to make um, global payment uh, better. And I think this is the the best platform to do it, right? And to we have so many people around the world and so many experts to talk about payments that to learn it from the expert themselves is a really good opportunity. So I'm looking forward for the next, uh, uh, the next few days that we're gonna be here. Grace, what about you? What are your first impressions here at Cybos in Toronto and, and what stood out for you? Oh, it's a grand, huh? You walk the exhibition halls and you have all these banks, market infrastructures, vendors, technology companies from all over the globe. Uh, just here collaborating, like Susanna said, and then we sat in some panels, some plenary sessions, and you hear all these pressing topics that the industry is talking about, digital assets, central bank digital currency, tokenization, uh, global payments, and how all the banks are collaborating together. And you actually see in the conference uh, all these different discussions being held and people sharing their opinions in the STAR program. We had sessions where the women were sharing, like our experiences is amazing so far amazing. Susanna going to the the star scholarship uh, talk me through what the program has, has brought to you as a, as a high prof, uh, high potential professional in, in your industry. Yes yeah, so it's a great opportunity to be here representing the bank with such a senior delegation right and that's because of the program that we are representing and I think the program has such a full agenda of opportunity to network to have mentorship um, one-on-ones with senior women that are here sharing their professional path and giving us all the advices so besides everything that we're going to be learning and take it back home to our peers and to our clients which they really appreciate the feedback coming back uh, from a conference such as Cybos right I think it's just an amazing program so everybody that's behind it is doing an amazing job so hopefully we can have this program for many many more years to come it's amazing Grace you talked about you know speaking with other women in the industry uh, uh, that's one intersection you know that you bring uh, but let's talk about the the uh, industry as a whole where do you think some changes could be made to support uh, different types of diversity yeah so for example I think in today's session we were talking about how we lack a lot of uh, maybe industry standards. Like for example, in governance, you do have at board of director levels uh, in publicly traded companies where you it's mandated to have a number of women now. But honestly, across the industry, you have opportunities for hiring. How are we selecting the employees? How are we even posting the jobs in a way that's written to be gender, um, uh, gender neutral? How are we looking at the pool of candidates? Are we, do we have many women? So from the hiring process, the um, job compensation are we looking how we are compensating women? How are the packages structured in a way that you attract to women uh, from career development and then programs like these that bring you, you know, skills and bring you knowledge for you to advance? Um, I think there are so many opportunities. I think um, really that when, when you look at it, it's a, a, a bit uh, shocking, the discrepancy that we have. So I can tell you that programs like this is what brings diversity. I mean, we are 33 women coming around the world together, meeting and networking. Um, my organization has like programs like the LEAD, which is to help um, women continue in the leadership program, as well as the OLA, which is for Latinos. So all of these programs are specifically to have more diversity in the industry. So I think we need to be advocates for those programs and continue to have them um, mm. to bring more diversity. And, and Grace, as a, as a STAR scholar, uh, how do you think the program will benefit you professionally and personally? 
I think meeting these women here is amazing. The connectivity that we are creating since these first sessions this morning and throughout the day, uh, networking, learning from them, the sessions that SWIFT organized with us to hear from leadership in the, in the industry and how they are shaping the future of the industry. So you hear directly from them, their experiences. I think it's an amazing opportunity for us to continue growing, for to prepare ourselves you know, for the future. Uh, Susanna, you're not just a treasury sales officer, you're also a mom. I'm a new mom, <laughs> <laughs> jumping back into the uh, field after uh, months away. Talk to us about that experience of being able to make these two very important jobs work. So yeah, I can tell you, well, I have two boys. One is uh, gonna be two and Brian is going, to, it's 10 actually. And I can tell you that it's uh, the support system that I have, right? At home and at the organization that I work for. Um, Bank of America is really big about work and life balance and mental sanity. So I think having that as a peace of mind helps me be um, able to do both careers because one is really fast paced and the other one is really demanding. So I think I'm able to do it because I have such a support system from family, husband, so it's amazing. It yeah. is important. <laughs> onto, uh, onto Cybus uh, uh, in general, uh, of course it's, it's back in the Americas this year here in Toronto. Grace, you've worked across the banking industry in Brazil, uh, Colombia and the US. Uh, countries at different development stages, I think it's fair to say, where women might face different types of challenges. What would you recommend for young women entering the industry in these places? I would say be bold, uh, build your network, don't shy away from opportunities. You know, women tend not to apply to roles if they don't fit all the criteria, so, and men usually don't. So uh, look for what roles challenge you, get ready for those challenges, uh, look in your network, who can help you build the skill sets that you need for the roles you wanna be in. And really don't shy away from the opportunity. At BNP there are so many programs for women and sometimes you really need to find those programs that will help you engage and talk about the challenges, talk about what's, what the future looks like and how you can get there. Yeah. Mm, Grace, Susanna, we appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. We hope you both have some fruitful conversations like the ones you had today. Still many more days to come. Uh, that's Susanna Martinez, Vice President, Treasury Sales Client Officer, Global Corporate and Investment Banking at Bank of America, and Grace Terrell Ho, Director, Sales and Relationship Manager, Financial Intermediaries Americas at BNP Paribas. Wishing you all the best. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much. Thank you. Thank you.